What's this all about? They park anywhere these days, don't they? The police today, they look like they were doing their job, yeah? Obviously, somebody got hurt. I don't know who it was. I didn't see anything. And whether they're making a false claim or not, we don't know. Uh, I can see that the police are walking along the street now, look. Nobody deserves to get hurt. We, we was all here peacefully, and there's a great turnout of people. It's absolutely amazing. A great turnout of people, and it just goes to show that we're all standing together and we're not going to take this no more. I just want to ask you one question. What? I have heard you say many times this is a civil matter. Could you just confirm for the people watching this, is this a civil matter regarding the house? Regarding the house is a civil matter. Whether the police get called to assist with something, I don't know. Criminal matters I expect police to deal with. Yeah. Anyway, if there's you. a potential breach of the peace, that's probably why they attempt. I right. don't know that. I wasn't there. I can't say for sure. All right, cheers. Thank you. You can't hide behind, I'm just doing my job. We, the people, know exactly what's going on. We know all of your secrets and we are not going to take it anymore. Yeah, the people are awake and that's your biggest fear. That's their biggest fear is the people are awake. And you can see with the numbers today, people have travelled from Kent, Maidstone in Kent. We've got Chester, Liverpool, Sheffield, uh, Grimsby. Jazz, nice one. Uh, a lot of locals from Derby and uh, it was executed well. It was executed better than how they did it. We want to be right with the police because we want the police to be on our side, to serve and protect the public and not to uh, protect the corporation. Listen, get in your car, go. Tell them to go. Tell them to go. Now. Go. 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 So there's already a lot of cameras over there recording what's going on. I'm not sure what's happening. Obviously, the security are over here. So, I think they've called the police. We are seeing someone killing our, our cars and our person. We are security person, basically. We are security. Hurry up. Can you come very as soon as possible, please? Nine response vehicles. Ten response vehicles. 11, 12, this is a big response. Obviously, um, the situation had to be called in because allegations of an assault took place by security. This is the print off from today, 28th of March, the land registry, to state that Red Shriner and proprietor is Matthew David Brown, who is the owner of the exact We've also got caught in that. We've exercised the common law right of recapture, the video which is taking his property back. This is the evidence of the matter that's being dealt with in court, in the High Court, dated the 28th of March. So this is being dealt with civilly, so the only crime that's been committed is the theft of the property in the first instance. Where are the security staff that were here initially? I need to see to them. This shows all the laws of, of everything, terrorism, uh, the fraud, fraud act, act, everything okay. is in there and it's been documented off this gentleman's video from the last time. Yeah, I, so I can are, see so speak at the moment you are criminals because of who you're associated with. Yeah, so by association you're criminals at this moment in time. Okay. If we have to arrest you under section 24A of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984, that is what we will do and we will use reasonable force. Any person can do that. Yeah? Yes. So that's going to be how it's going to be today. That is the evidence. Do you want me to take this away? Yeah, that is the evidence that the grounds that we can arrest you for today okay? okay so if you don't want to read that and then you act outside of your duty you are then committing a criminal offense I can't read this right now well that's took it there well, I'm gonna read you it need to what you need to do then is you need to stand aside and you need to not get involved in the matter till you've read the paperwork any officer that hasn't read that paperwork then goes in feet first and tries arresting people that is going to be a criminal offense under the terrorism act 2000 Everything is there, it's highlighted for you. Just go and look at the terrorism app. Okay, mate, yeah? I'll feed it back to And the then sergeants. go and have a look at his video, okay? There were many video cameras recording on this day, including Laura Nina, Harv, and a few others also live streaming as events unfolded. To watch their video recording of events on this day, their social media channels are also in the video description below. Now then, there's a question about live streaming. I just want to address this. If people take matters into their own hands and there's a camera around, they need to understand this is a non-violent direct action. So any person, man or woman, who's acting unlawfully, well really you need to reconsider your actions and how they come across. Because this was advised at the very beginning, it's a non-violent direct action. 
And in order to throw a punch at somebody, you'd have to justify the reason why you throw a punch. It's also fair to point out that people came from far and wide and not everybody knows everybody. And it's at times like this that people need to come together and work together. Otherwise, it's not going to help matters. We arrived here at about half past one. It's now a quarter to four and it's all over. A lot of people now will actually see what's going off. Yeah, me and Matt have exposed the mortgage fraud. Uh, along with quite a few other people. There's a lot of videos going around at the minute. Some of them are false, some of them are real, but you know, I've got first-hand knowledge and so has Matt. And what we've been through is absolutely disgusting, all because we asked the bank some questions. What, how did mm. you start? What question did you ask at first? Uh, can you please provide me with a uh, original copy of the mortgage contract. Did they ever produce that? Never ever produce that. It's not the case that I've just said, right, I'm not paying my mortgage and I'm not going to work anymore. I've been a busy guy for the last four years, uh, trying to expose the corruption. And in my findings, especially through the banking and mortgages, like a lot of us have, we've realized that it's not everything's not as it seems with it. Um, so I asked them some questions, I said, which we're allowed to do in any agreement at any time under contract law. You can say, can I just have a look at a few things and ask them a few questions? Now, I submitted a number of questions and they wouldn't answer them. Uh, they refused to answer them. I've, I've put applications into the court for disclosure requests for these questions to be answered. They wouldn't answer them. I got three live applications, two in the county court, one in the King's Bench in Birmingham. Still, I've paid all my fees, ready to be heard. They won't list my applications in the court. So we're still in litigation, we're still in court. And what they did last Friday was unlawful. There was no notice given, they just came to swarm and take the house. I've now got another injunction order uh, through from the King's Bench in the Royal Courts of Justice. But I have given up hope with the courts because I don't trust them and uh, they all need to be stood down and we need to look at it and start again. We've done subject access requests to them, uh, but they just ignore it. Same as the police, we do everything. Uh, we've, been, we've been fighting this for the last three, three to four years and these people are criminals. And, it, I, and I don't think it's the people, I think it's the banks that are making the instructions uh, and they're making us all fight and argue amongst ourselves. It doesn't matter whether you're black, white or alien from space. We should all be together and we should stand together because we shouldn't be paying to live in this realm. I actually grabbed one of them and said, listen, you're safe. You're not going to get hurt because he was screaming. You're fine. We're not going to hurt you. You're okay. And then and took him out. I, I feel a little bit sorry for him because they are being used as a weapon against us and we're peaceful, not everybody is. So a message to any of you guys that are being used as a weapon against us, don't do it, don't do it, it's not worth it. It's not about we being, you know, aggressive or anything like this. We're actually spreading the message out that you take our asses and we're going to take them back. So we've served the documents. We had the superintendent come to the incident before. Who's in charge here, we've seen them. Who's we've seen them? Right, buddy. That's been served on your chief constable today, also the Crown Court. All, right. All the criminal yeah. offences are in there. I'd read it first. Just stay back for us. Stay back for us. Stay back for us. Stay back for us. We've taken the house back lawfully today, but someone was arrested. But Max had Matt's permission to go into the property to help him defend his castle, which we were allowed to do. And any people in the community can do that once a crime's been committed. So that's what we've done. So we went back, protected the property. The bailiffs were asked three times to remove themselves from the property. They tried shutting the door, locking themselves in the van, uh, trying to get the phones out to call the police. Um, and, you know, we, we just got them, got them off, the, off the drive. There's a lot of things that people need to look into because they use it as a security instrument. You create the money through your signature. The banks don't have no money, they never have. Everything that we put in there, i.e. wages, etc., etc., we are gifting the banks our, our energy. That's all it is, it's our energy. It's a promise to pay that one day that you would pay it. And they use their security instrument that you sign and they sell it on the exchanges. I asked to see a copy of the mortgage contract. I did what's called a DSAR, Data Subject Access, Access Request. Uh, and I requested everything that they've got regarding me. So every bit of paper with my name on it. There is no 
contract. You'd, a contract has to have two signatures, a meeting of the minds from another man or a woman to another man and woman. There, there is nothing. There's no signature, there's no nothing. All the signature is on the title deed. It gets complicated, but it's securitized, it's sold, it's used as a promissory note, it debits into an account. They don't lend you any money. It's a scam. We can use the post office scandal that's just happened uh, and that makes people aware that these things do go on and all the people that are struggling at the minute paying the mortgage they're putting the interest rates up they've never lent you any money so challenge it if you can uh, don't be scared if they take your ass we'll take it back simple as that did you ever get to see a copy of an agreement of a mortgage no there is no mortgage agreement so the bank act as a middleman, is that what you're saying? Yeah, but the banks are all fraudulent anyway. They're not, they're not even legitimate companies. And they're all involved with the SWIFT. And the SWIFT, for, online, for offshore accounts and stuff like that, these are criminals. It's not the people. We think, just because... Let, let, they, they try to pass this new law now, where after 31 days, if you don't pay your mortgage, they can repossess your ass. nuh -uh. Not in this country, not why I'm here, and not why all those people are here. So anybody that's um, battling these people or can't afford to pay, we're going to come and stand by you, 100%. They need to stand with us as well. Yes. Yeah. We all need you to now have a think about what's going off in this country. Obviously, you can't pay your bills. You can't, you can't afford to feed yourselves. You know, the, the, the country is going to shit, and we've got to stop it. All of us. Thank you to everybody that came today to help. Thank you to everybody watching this video. Share it and um, let's send ripples around the country and make the bankers and the police and all the other people that want to do us harm. And we ain't going to stay it anymore. We're going to stand up and we're going to fight and we're going to win. This is two tier policing. Sergeant, Sergeant, you just took his word for it. Can you give a statement? You took a statement off him and you've arrested someone. You can't, you're not willing to take a statement off me. There's only, there's only three black men here today. Police powers. That's not enough. You arrest someone. Pull with the skin. Arrest just as important. Everyone's jumping in with different police. Sergeant, four. Sergeant, an orderly. Sergeant, look at me. All right, all right, listen. An asshole. Absolute no. asshole, because you don't do your job properly. Yeah. Yeah, you're an Absolutely asshole. Agree. And Steve, that's your yeah. opinion. Many people yeah. would agree with well, you. You're an asshole. It's all right. Steve, that you do your job properly. I think, in fairness, you've, you've totally gone outside the jurisdiction. He's off someone and then he's arrested our mates and he won't take the defence. Not going to have a go. You're an ass. That's it. He's never taken the stand off the security. He failed to show his ID and now he's refusing to give me the same. So that's discrimination. But you've discriminated against me by uh, getting a witness statement off him to arrest my mate who I was on the drive with at the time, who didn't commit any crime whatsoever, and it will stand up in court that he hasn't committed the crime. But what will happen is you'll be arrested when you make a statement in that courtroom, and I order the judge to remand you in custody. Yeah, because you're a flight risk, that's what you'll be. They're not taught about common law and people's rights and defending property lawfully and that we can take property back lawfully because the way they've taken it is criminal. They've used fraudulent documentation, it's been doctored, so, you know, it even clearly states that um, in, which one was it, the Counterfeiting, so Fraudery and Counterfeiting Act. And it clearly states in there, uh, and that's uh, uh, 1981, so it even states in there that you can't doctor, you know, any, any evidence unless it's signed by the judge and the judge confirms, yeah, I altered that, that, that address, I altered that time and I've signed to give my authority. Well, that judge has got no authority, he's not signed it. Get your hands off me! 22nd of March 2024, it's approximately 9.54am and I have just received an emergency call for assistance. I also received this video clip.
I'm currently heading south and I will bring you up to speed when I arrive. I have heard that all these men turned up unannounced and frightened the living daylights out of the female occupant. This triggered an emergency call for assistance. Local men and women instantly responded to this call, which was described as an attack on a property by a large group of men. There were no police on scene at the time. What you are about to witness is a police operation that goes drastically wrong for the Derbyshire police force. How do I know that this was a police operation, you might ask? Well, quite simply, I was informed by one of the security dog handlers waiting around the corner. And this is what he had to say. Hey, you alright? Hey, yeah. Just, uh, did you actually. Is this the gentleman who. Oh, no. <laughs> you have the dog around the, dog around the neck with the loop? No, no. No, 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 no. Was it? No. no, no it wasn't Do you know who it was? We just want to ask him a few questions. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who the dog, what, dog handler was? Uh, no. I don't know. No. How come you're around here anyway, on your own? No, in the back street. Yeah. Uh, Atlas 8, number yeah. 8. Yeah. Police uh, doing operation. Are you part of that operation? Uh, no, no, no. I am not operator. My job start when the police operation finish, then I am uh, I, my my job will be start. Oh, okay. I am waiting here when my control room asking my boss asking I have take the position. So you're on standby. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. All right. Anytime finish, anytime I can collect a call, anytime I'm going to my position. Okay, then. Thank you very much. Have you got a dog? Yeah. March 31st, 2024, Spondon, England. Derbyshire Police received an emergency phone call. We are seeing someone killing our, our cars and our person. We are security person, basically. We are security. Please, hurry up. Please, Can you come very as soon as possible, please? Was this an overreaction from Derbyshire Police? I think not, and I base this on the following facts. If it is stated to any police force that a large group of men and women allegedly start attacking the security in a house they are contracted to protect, and as you have witnessed, alleging that they are killing their brother, then this massive police response will be deemed proportionate based on the emergency call. This all appears to be a direct reaction from people who travelled from all around the country based on what appears to have been identified in last week's video. The video highlighted that Derbyshire police appeared to have organised a civil sting operation to repossess a man's home. Links are available in the video description for the full video to watch for more context. And this video has now reached over 100,000 views and still rising. How did this day start? Well, it started like this. What's happening today? We're taking a man's castle back that was illegally taken off him. That's right. the end. That, that's all we've got here to do. We're peaceful. We're just coming back to take his castle. Non-violent direct action, apparently. Oh, that is exactly what it is. Non-violent direct action. There's no weapons. Nobody's come for a fight. <laughs> I mean, it's all points down to dodgy paperwork and the banks not answering questions. Well, I believe that this is in court on Tuesday. I do believe that myself. King's Bench, apparently. So. If on Tuesday, why are they in his house now if this is supposed to be happening on Tuesday? Yeah, it looks like a pincer action is going on now. Yep. Some gone left, some gone right, so let's uh, go and find out what's happening, shall we? Derbyshire police have assisted this originally. They will have to justify their own encounters. It looks like the security now have been asked to move. And the people are taking the property back. This was granted on 28th of March. You need to go. Are you looking at this? Are you looking? No, I can't. You can't walk. I will talk. 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 I will Problem. Don't touch. No. Don't touch. No, not so. You can't touch me. Okay? Don't touch me. You can't touch me. I am not touching you. 
Nobody is touching no. you. You are touching me. No, you should not touch me. What we've got is, we've got a thing called liberty of the subject. A That's liberty, an interesting document, that. Liberty of the subject is, is fantastic. So what we've got here... Liberty of subject, 1354. None shall be condemned without due process of law. So the item is that no man of what estate or condition that he shall be put out of land or tenement, nor taken, nor imprisoned, nor disinherited, nor put to death, without being brought in answer by due process of the law. In mortgage cases, there's a due process to take place. And although it's a civil matter, why are the police getting involved? If there's something taking place in the courts that's not been exhausted legally, then houses should not be being repossessed. Guys, you're in the wrong job if you're not going to display your badge, because it needs to be on display. If you've got SIA badges, they need to be on display. Two of the guys have just turned them round because they've been instructed. It's a prosecutable offence under the Private Security Industry Act 2001, Section 9, Subsection 1C, needs to be on display. Subsection 4 is prosecutable. I guess you just don't want to know about it, do you? You just want to break the law yourself, don't you? Right, leave it with that. I wouldn't be here if Matt didn't have this documentation, but for the fact that he's got an order that says he's due to go back in court, obviously for a court decision and so on, which police should observe. So basically, Mark, uh, Matt has got process uh, inf inflow and therefore you bring in liberty of the subject. We were here before then, same incident. Yeah, I'm here to take statements. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We're here to give some. We've got 60 witnesses outside that house. That's fine. I'm only here for two chapters. Right. 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 Right driving round in vehicles that look like police vehicles. Where it's a that? massive fraud. <laughs> You're scumbag. Hey, it's you here. It's you here for the law system, isn't it? This is it, see? What did you do? Epic, though? This is only the This is <laughs> What's happened to your foot? I don't know, did That's it? why when you're in work, you're supposed to wear steel toe cap boots, buddy. Where's, yeah. you, where's your shoes? <laughs> Take off my shoes. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I don't think have, so. Have you rung the police? Yeah, yeah. What did the police say to you? Yeah, Are they coming? Yeah.